I'll sue your ass! Sorry, lady. Don't... other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and she's not settled down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I don't invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, uh, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one.
stinky scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Nice work. Yeah. I'll let Jimmy P know about that. I'll cut you in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside, though. I feel like the cops might knock down the locked door any moment. Take me inside. Good luck with that, Jerry. And Please, look after my family if I go inside.
All right. not my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. Fucking happy. Bruce is ecstatic, homie. Just, you know, kinda gonna, gonna, gonna miss him and all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Bruce, you don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. Nah. <laughs> what about them swingers? 
How's Molly? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chow. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it, no problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki.
I'm coming for you! One more! You're glad to No way out! You're fucking surrounded! It's you! On me! <laughs> we got him! We got him! with me! You're not escaping with that smack! What have I got myself into? I've got a complaint about your driving, asshole! Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for a fever head Abby. You know the one I need. He'll be waiting here. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. 
Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully you'll look after him. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardpack. He'll call you. Wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and West Dyke. Florian, open the door. Nemo de Cepeda. Govor Ingleski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie, open the door. What's going on? Come in. Come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me? Yes! Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing Ultimate Disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because... Uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed, and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. The haters are in Middle Park, hon. Huh? Nico. 
Marco, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know? Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. We're going for a jog, Nico. Try to keep up, and stay back, too. We don't want to be rumbled. Keep up, honey! Hiya! on the prize, Nico! Hey there! I'm about done with you, homo! Pick on someone who'll fight back! What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Yeah. 
jail! We need to get out of here! not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Gidimos il scoro div Nico Vecchi. Like that? Huh. Ain't you got a home or something? Ain't you got a life? Or do you always have to interfere in other people's? I'm sorry. See you later. Hey, come mister, on. come you back here. I'll fuck you for five bucks. No! What's wrong with you? I need junk. I need money. You shouldn't be fucking strange men for money. I'll give you some myself. money. I need junk. More than money. I know a place where we can get some. Will you take me there, mister? Please? Come on, then. He's over on Car Square in Alderney City. Why don't you ease up on this stuff? Go to a center, get yourself clean. You don't want a substance controlling your life. What the fuck? People just try to tell me what to do. Go to school, read this, practice that, suck these. I hate everyone, just, just leave me the fuck alone. Leave you alone so you can sell your ass for some junk? Yeah, well, I'm happy where I am. I was, at least. 
Well, my habit was five bags a day. I could survive off panhandling. If you can't get the money together, then maybe you should cut back on your habit. I can get the money together. It just takes a little improvisation, like finding you in the park. I knew you'd help me. How's that? I don't know. Something in your eyes. You look like you've got a good heart. I don't know about that. You do? Most guys would have fucked me and left me by the side of the road already. You're nice. What's your name? Nico Belli. Nice to meet you, Nico. I'm Marnie. Oh, man, I'm jonesing. Hard. It's been too long. Fuck. This shit is in control. Think about going to a clinic. Turn into some methadone zombie? I don't think so. I quit. I do it cold turkey and by myself. Not that I want to quit. I'm having too much fun. You seem to be having a great time. got the cash? Here you go. Good luck to you, kid. You need it. Thanks, Nico. You're real sweet. Is working for a living really that bad? I've got stuff to do, Brucey. I can't get a drink right now. All right, Nico. I'll hang with someone else. Call me soon. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. 
Mrs. H. Nico, I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cooked. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Viso News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How do you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri. We gotta get them, Nico. Can you please? 
shut up until this is done. We've what lost them. My life is over, Nico. This is terrible. What am I going to do? I need to be in my apartment now. Bye. a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Shit! Somebody's got it! All right, hun. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. Yuck! I can't even imagine where that is. I hope you know. I can find it. Have I told you about the first time I met Bryce? It was a foam party at Hercules. I was high on X and youth and beauty and I was dancing like I've never danced before. I was slave to the beat and a god on the floor. Sure. Then it happened. Out of nowhere, I was struck. I saw his face through the bubbles and I knew everything. Boy in Algonquin was there that night, but he was the only one for me. I thought to myself, that middle-aged, closeted, married, self-hating hypocrite, he's the man of my dreams! That's what people are trying to take away. That's love! I met when I first arrived in Liberty City. After Darko Bredich, Dimitri is at the top of my list. Sweetie, this is a list I would never want to be on. Again, I mean. He betrayed his best friend. I used me to do it. Then he said to Is that what you have to do to make the list? No. He came after Rome. Destroyed the home and business he had worked hard to make. We're getting these guys. Nico! Son of a bitch! Step on it, Nico! Bye. 
Johnny, please. Can you be quiet until this is over? on the tape. I might feel sorry for that guy. Watch the fuck out! Shut up until this is done. Sit tight, Bernie. Let me finish this. Thank you. All right, the guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. <laughs> so we were just meant to scare them? Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career? Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite, and it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon.
are. How could you do this to me? Why? Why? I won't be treated like this. Ah, oh, come on. Excuse me, I didn't see you. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, you remember me? Uh, huh? You do, huh? Yeah, you took those photos of my wife. Yeah. My light wife. Yes, I remember you. Yeah, yeah, I, I owe you. Uh, Jeff owes you. Uh, Jeff and you, you know, buddies, pals, yeah? Uh, we've been through some shit together, didn't we? I don't know about I, that. That's why I feel I can tell you things. Please, yeah. don't. Well, you know, life hasn't always been kind. My mom, you know, she left my dad. My dad... Very well, fucking interesting. I need a fucking friend, man. My life is hell, all right? Oh, I got married again. Yeah, yeah. That's right. She's a nice girl. Or so I thought. Here we go. She's up there right now. She's having a drink with her ex. Yeah, she's touching his leg. She's getting all wet. You've got to calm down. I need you to kill her. What? I'll pay. You're too range. Well, then screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down before I give you injury. God damn you. <laughs> Uh, you're just like all the rest! Hello? Is this the police? Shooting on side, all right? Nico Berlik. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Let's persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. I just love fucking those wasp- Damn, they're so fucking dirty, you know? You should hurt this bitch, that-
Packy calling. Let's hit the bowling alley. Sorry, Packy. No bowling. I got shit to do. Maybe some other time. Sure, Nico. You must have people to kill and shit. Call me when you're free. That guy just grabbed my ass. He can send me outside if he wants, but I'm not going to stop. Yeah. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you 
to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegarino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook! Everybody's trying to fuck everybody! We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it! You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip? They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that! God, give me strength! It's like I'm dealing with children here! No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid! If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Vanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully, they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask of them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason.
What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with them diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, though. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. Dad Ice was a real fuck-up. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Guy who owned the diamonds, Gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're going to get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time old and you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All today weren't nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, 
didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I've done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavalos. Are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. The times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with them. I got a nice little offer to the Pavanos that's gonna persuade them to argue my case. Something real classy. Real nice. Can't wait to see the look on their faces. Give him the... Jimmy's on his way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit-down's over at the old refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Can we just listen to the radio? Drive like a pussy. Give him the right.
Ah! <laughs> 